So you know, you look at the risk assessment, you'll see the categorization there, which will be to high, low, or a medium. If it's a high risk, then obviously you need to... No one told me he was a high risk. If you're working with clientele, no one told you he's a high risk. You must make sure you know what the risks are to the role. Are we okay with this, yeah? So we've got hazard, the danger. What happens on the assessment paper at times is this. They, you get mixed up with what a hazard is and what a, a risk is. So a hazard is the danger, the danger. The risk is the chance of it happening. Or the likelihood, the potentiality. You could say the potentiality if you wanted to, but not potential, yeah? Anything that has a potential to cause harm hasn't. Are we all right with this? Yes? When I first learned about these, I used to, I used to keep on reading them because I was getting confused with them. But sometimes these do come upon your, generally tend to come upon your paper, generally. All right. Right, now, risk assessment. Can you see that word in your book or not? Is it there, risk assessment? I think it's at the front of your... No, it ain't, is it? Uh, let's have a look. Page five, all right. Okay, now we have the identification of the hazards. This is what your risk assessment is. The identification of the hazards, the calculation of risk, and the reduction of the risk, either completely or to an acceptable level. Now I would say to you, please read that a couple of times to get familiarised with it. Read it a couple of times. The identification of hazards, the calculation which we talked about, the categorization, and the reduction of that risk either completely or to an acceptable level. So you reduce it. Good health and safety practices are all about reducing. Good health and safety practices are all about reducing, if not eliminating, if not avoiding.